Hi. So today I'm going to talk about closures, what they are, because uh, this what are closures is one of the most basic bare bone uh, questions that is asked in interviews when you're applying as a JavaScript developer, whether it's a JS backend position or a JS frontend position, or generally if you're applying as a JavaScript developer, it is bound to happen that they will ask you what what is closure, and I wanted I wanted to give you a small guide ahead on what closures are, on a quick small video. So according to MTN, closures a closures a closure gives you access to an outer function scope from an inner function. Let's let's see what this is. So how about we ignore this? I have a function. It's a function person. It has a variable called name, and it has a function inside uh, display name, which just consoles uh, consoles dot log the name and then invokes that function. So when I call this, it's going to say name is Adil. So one thing uh, that is happening here is scope. The the function person is available throughout my root scope. Anywhere in my function, I can use this. My variable name is only accessible in this scope, anywhere in this line of code. And then my display name is, and then this console.log has a scope for, for up till here. And I can invoke this display name function anywhere inside the scope of my person function. Simple as that. So I'll call this again, name is Adil. Simple as that. Now. I have the same function, which is called person. It has a name. I'll say let name is equal to a deal, a deal. And it has a function display name, which says console.log name is name. Like with exclamation mark instead of columns. And then what I do is I have a variable called me. I'll assign it. I'll invoke the function of the function person. And then I'll, I'll talk a bit what this does. So name is a deal. So what is happening here? This function returns another function. So either I can do something like this. I hope this works. So either I can do something like this, a function that invokes another function, or I can do something like this. So what closures are? Closures is the, pheno the phenomena where closures happen is you invoke something from an outer scope. You invoke something from an outer scope like this. I'll just function and invokes function. So you invoke something from an outer scope like we're doing here. We're calling person from the scope outside of the function person. And when you invoke something from the outer function, it calls something from inside of its function while remembering the, the scope from inside of that function. Does that make sense? If it doesn't make sense, there is another example that I, I would like to talk about. So I have a let my me name is Adil. Gender is male. Uh, get name is function. I can say control dot log this dot name. Get gender. Control dot log this dot gender and then I can say control dot log me dot get name. I hope this works. So just So what's happening here? Is anything? Oh, let's just console this out as well. 
So name is a deal, and if I say me dot get gender a deal mail. So this is also an, an example of closure. I'm access I'm accessing something from inside. I'm accessing the a property for the object me from outside the scope of me and then from one of its key properties for example get name i'm ex accessing another key internally from that scope of me which is the name this is basically closure this is it nothing else by the way this is called the modular reveal pattern so easy easy example of closure so this is not closure this example is not closure what they're doing is they're calling the function foo from the outer scope and then that function foo has another function called bar and inside that function they just invoke that function so they invoke it from outside the foo uh, the scope of foo and then while they're inside the, the scope of this foo function they just invoke this bar bar function if this was accessed somehow outside of this scope this would have been a closure so this is a closure it's the same thing as as it, as it as it shows above so what what is happening here the function foo is called which returns another function which is which is then called here so this can also sorry 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 so this could have also been Give me a second. I just want to make a better example. Could have also been like this. And then you wouldn't have needed this line. It's a function that calls another function. So it's a function that calls another function while remembering the scope of a variable from inside of that function is what closure is. Another example, not complicated examples. This is also an example of closure. So what is happening here? I'm pa passing in a value called, I'm pass passing in a string called message. And then I have a function called set timeout, which is using the, which is, which is logging out whatever I'm passing here. So the scope, is outside and then I call in a nested function which uses the scope from outside inside that nested function and still remembers it. This entire phenomena is called closure. And, and modular pattern. So this is the best book that you can find about on learning in JavaScript. I will have this link in the video below. And I just I'm just looking for yes this was the de definition closure is when a function can remember and access access its lexical scope even when it is invoked outside its lexical scope that is it that is what closure is and nothing else I hope I'm getting be better in making these videos if uh there is any kind of feedback I would love to hear on these things so that I can start recording better videos. Ciao. Bye.